Hi, I'm back. I'm happy. Thank you very much and welcome to our second video. In this second video, we're going to learn how to make three classics, three Mexican classics. Ceviche, pico de gallo, and of course, guacamole. Enjoy! So, the best way to chop cilantro, it will be cut it in half and then put it on top of these. Yes, all the strands and all the stuff. I see people picking out oh, just the leaves and all that, but at, in reality, all the flavors all over this little sticks. So you just go ahead and chop. I'm chopping, not very little, because um, in the ceviche and the guacamole, I, I particularly love, feel the crunchy of the onion, the sweetness as well. But you know, you, it's not a row. So you have big pieces here, but you can just go ahead and do it as finest as you want. And then is it where you can just get the little dice, well dice, you see that how little they came. So that would be the easiest way to do it. Just like that. You don't need to chop all of it. That's all what we need. Possibly a quarter of that big onion. too little not too big just like that doesn't have to be perfect you guys okay doesn't have to be like a completely professional remember this is made uh, a home and we're cooking in my kitchen um, and just have fun just do whatever you need to do chopping tomatoes you know as as fun as can be Okay, y'all, so if you hear any noises or anything like that, it's a big fan that we have behind the camera. And here we go. After we mix and stir our salsa, we have the classic Mexican pico de gallo, okay? Avocados, well, go ahead and do this. Put them on the board, got like that, go around. And that's about it, you know? All right, so with the fork, we're gonna just take all this meat of the avocado. Yeah, I'm not leaving anything in there. Some of them they're very nice, some of them they're very, very brownish. Sometimes the heat, the season, the rain, you know, many, many factors that it might change. But basically all the time in Mexico they're pretty good. So that's about it. Remember all the brown spots? Yes, they're all done. <laughs> you know, all right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our pico de gallo. And what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna add a couple of spoons to that. And steer, nice and gently. All the flavors get together there. Now, you can add much or less pico de gallo it's up to you a lot of the people will add some habaneros some serrano peppers some jalapenos and this occasion i really didn't honestly didn't think about it i was just like uh make it plain and the most traditional one for the family friendly nobody get hurt it's not hot at all you know i want you to notice that creamy that you get from add the oil to this thing plus it will help you with the um, oxidation process it will be very very nice here we go creamy nice uh, avocado and we have a little bit of boiling water and we'll just start the boiling see that and that's what we want it perfect what we're gonna do we're gonna blanch our shrimp it's very quick pay attention 
Very quick. That's about it. This way we prevent any bacteria in our seafood. 300 grams of shrimp, right there. From Gulf of Mexico, of course. We are working on shrimp ceviche, and as you know, we add some salt and we add some um, black pepper. We're gonna immediately add the lime juice. As uh, I don't know, get close, okay, little camera. Uh, we're gonna add lime juice until you cover a little bit of the surface, right there. That's a perfect spot. And what we're trying to do is um, get all uh, soaked uh, shrimp into the lime juice to start the cocktion. Of course, our our shrimp uh, had that little boiling water process. You know, we bleached them already. I protect my customers and friends when I cook this ceviche at home or their houses, whatever, in the restaurant as well, um, to kill the possible any possible bacteria around. With the boiling water, you prevent that. And now it's starting to look like a really, really nice fresh ceviche. Um, my friends, I have a little twist in my restaurant and, and, and for my friends at home, um, many people will agree and many people won't agree with this, but you know what, it's me and I get always a little twist. I do things different than everybody else. Usually people <laughs> tell me that. So I go ahead and I present you the little secret that I had in my humble ceviche. And this is uh, Worcestershire. I'm not gonna allow, be allowed to show you the brand, but basically uh, this is the most popular one in Mexico. Uh, here it is, you know, it looks like this. I'm gonna add, not very much, I'm just gonna add one, two, three, and that's about it. It will change a little brownish color over there, and you'll see, it's really different. It's different than anybody else on the island, at least. I haven't seen or tasted anybody who add that. Worcestershire into their ceviche, but believe me, try it, get a taste, give me your opinion, leave your comments, let me know what you're thinking, that would be really cool. Okay, so, back to my basic, back to my basic pico de gallo. What I'm gonna do is basically drop pico de gallo on top of this, and not very much, you know, we want to get the fruits of the sea to taste, and so, not too much, not too little. It's gotta be nice balance. I'm watering my mouth, honestly. This look good. All right, so we basically have homemade ceviche. And different places will do a little different, uh, chopping the tomato a little less, just, you know, a little smaller, little dice. The onion, you cannot really see it, but the cilantro pieces are over there. In my opinion, it needs a little bit more cilantro. So I will add a little bit of that if you, if, you, if I were you, I will add the cilantro and uh, not very, very much, but um, you know, I'm just gonna do some very quick little uh, little bit more cilantro. This is my own taste, my own um, twist. I love cilantro in my ceviche. And that's about it. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm just telling you that's what I will do. And then you just stir again. And that will actually bring up the freshness of this thing. And this is it. The ceviche we have. Number two. And I will, I will show you the presentation. We're going to go ahead and mix the third, which is the pico de gallo. We're going to present it to you. We got pico, ceviche, and guac. We'll see you in a bit. So now my friends, my turn. I'm gonna get to taste all of them. Remember, like the page, like the, uh, the channel, follow us, leave your comments in below. And next time, just please let me know. 
What do you want me to cook and give my own twist? Please share also this video so everybody else will know how to do guacamole, pico de gallo, and ceviche, Isla Mujeres version. And of course, Javi's Cantina Rocking Kitchen.